This is a Kenmore Elite refrigerator, and I noticed the top part was warm. First thing you want to do is unplug the refrigerator and power it down for everybody, except me. Something I didn't hear was a fan running. Okay, I'm going to be changing the evaporator motor in this. I've already took the ice maker, three screws in it and a plug in, just unplug it and then push the plug in through the back panel and the water tube. First thing I want to do is lift up on this center. Right in the center is a plastic hook that holds this on. You can take your basket out if you want. And this has a hook on it. Let's pop it loose. This is a thermal thermistor. Remember that has to lay down. On then I've already taken the screws out of the bottom corners of the top. Four screws. Lift your thermistor up a little bit. Panel off of it. Let's see, the fan's not turning very fast. It was actually stuck and I got it moving, so it's going to need a fan. Should hear that fan. Plus, it's a pretty good piece of ice, but not blocking the evaporator. Fan's turning too slow. looks pretty good. A little bit of ice isn't a problem unless it's iced up all across here. And this snap disc is usually the problem that causes it. The, this thing goes through a defrost cycle every eight hours for nine minutes or so and if this has any ice touching it. The defrost power goes through this wire and down into this heater. It goes around and up, up the back. And if ice is touching this and it's working, it lets the juice, lets the electric flow through and turn that hot. But these, these fail and let, uh, let this all build up with ice through here. It's just clipped on the, this copper line here. As long as there isn't ice blocking the evaporator, you're all right. Okay, I need to loosen this screw. They're all quarter inch. Unplug these wires, and then take that screw out. And I'll pull this motor off. Once you take these screws out, this whole plastic piece and uh, get these wires off their hooks. Unplug it. Pull that whole piece out. My recommendation is to order a spare one of these evaporator motors in case yours goes out because you're you sure are crippled when they do. I found a makeshift motor to stick in there until I got the parts for mine. Okay, I'm taking the screw loose. I've unplugged it. Unplugged the motor wire harness. Take this screw out. I'm going to need to scoop in the back and just roll it out. Now lift this, let's pull this blade off. Okay, once you got your fan blade off, just 
squeeze this clip in on the back. Do not lose this rubber bushing. And take this rubber bushing off this motor. This is the old motor. And this is a replacement for it. Totally different. Transfer your bushing off of that nose onto the new motor nose. And this set in there. Put this in the back so your motor sits with the windings to the left. Motor to the left. Rubber bushing transferred to this clip. Alright, it's mounted. It comes with a longer clip for this different shape motor, or different height. Uh, the new rubber bushings are mounted on the nose. Locked in. Still a little floppy, but whatever. Now I'll have to wire a harness up to it. Lock, lock this into this. Plug your wires on to the motor. This has a grounding wire. Goes on a little peg under here. Okay, support your motor end. Push the new fan blade down. Cone shape facing up. Hole facing down. Now I'll just roll this back over the wiring. Now remember, this lip in the back of this motor cage goes up underneath of this scoop before you settle it into the screws. And just clip, clip this ground wire on the metal sides over here. And it looks like a good place for the ground wire. Just be sure don't get your water tube. The wire needs to go under the water tube. Put your wires back on their holders. Okay, I'm going to plug the motor in. Make sure the, the locks catch when you plug it in. Okay, wires are hung back up. Now it sticks up. Turn the refrigerator on to make sure it runs. Turn the refrigerator on. The fan's running full speed. Back in business. I'll tell you what, too. Frost forms on this evaporator, and uh, you should see frost at least covering the whole top row pretty quick. And if it's not, if it's just frost on the first half of the top, it's low on Freon. 
but the whole thing will frost up eventually, but pretty quick. It gets frost across the top there. Now just put the panel back on and ice maker back on, plug it in. When you put the panel on, you'll have to pull the thermistor through the little slot in the back panel. Plug your ice maker back into the connection. Pull your ice maker plug in over here. Lift this panel up, plug it back into the square hole here. And get a hold of that thermistor wire and pull it through this little slot while you're pushing this panel back up into place. It's kind of aggravating to get it back into place. Mr. Wire's laying there, just reach back and get your plug in and stick it back through through here. Don't drop your panel, your thermos will go right through there. And this goes down in the plastic, not on that metal tray. The con concave your panel. Make sure it stays down on the plastic. hook on each side. Hold it up against the flat top flat and then push it in there. Now that's their Mr. Cover. Feed it through the hole. Get it down to that second slot. Put it in the hooks, holes. And lock it back down. like downtown. Put your four screws back in. And your ice maker. You're in business. It's cold again. <laughs>